hey guys what's up so this is continuation so of uh, hybrid framework and uh, this is the third video of excel coding and how we can use that so in last video we have seen that how we can write the data provider and how we can consume the uh, data from the excel right but we had one uh, exception where we were not able to run that right so as i said in last class we need to add one dependency so here I will add one dependencies and I will show to you how that problem will be rectified. So what we need to add is we need to add this dependency XML APIs, right? So whenever you will encounter this issue, uh, as of now it's not coming because I've just resolved. We need to add this XML APIs and your issue statement would be like this. So class not found org w3 document uh, transversal. So whenever you will get this exception, you can add this dependency. Once you add that, once you add this dependency, what you need to do is uh, go right click on the project, uh, run as, you do Maven install. Once the install is successful, what you can do is you can do right click, go to the Maven and update project. So this is normal practice whenever you add any and click on OK. So whenever you add any dependency, you know, you need to do this uh, practice. Apart from that, this three line app commented because as of now, we are not using actual driver. So this drivers will give you null pointer exceptions because as of now, we are not running any script, a Selenium script, right? So what our aim here is, we are only consuming username, password and run mode. So this I wrote a dummy code you guys can use in your uh, framework like this. Now if I run this code, okay, if I run this code your script will get executed that many times uh, that the Excel has the record, okay. So if Excel has 6 records your script will get executed 6 times. If Excel has less records your script will get executed less times. Now uh, I can show you here if you go to the console uh, basically this is your execution. So your script got executed for this many times 6 or 7 times right based on the data present in the excel sheet. Now apart from that when I was talking about this test based uh, class where we have a method for excel reading right. Remember I was talking about this will give you till your project locations. If you look at this, you are getting till you know hybrid framework till your project locations. And this is the uh, Excel locations I am printing it. So this is your Excel locations, right? So this both print is working fine. You are able to get that. Now what you guys can do is you guys can just clone my project and uh, you can use uh, in whatever company you work for because now this framework is ready for everything apart from that just now i executed the script right remember i think third or fourth video i was talking about the extent report if i refresh this i can see that you know report will get generated here see report got generated test 24 06 2017 so today is day 24 six month july uh, june 17 and time is 3 44 uh, 50 mm uh, 55 seconds right if you do right click open with web browser and uh, let me uh, get this I'll, I'll open with any of the browser and we can see that how it will look like so this is your browser now when we uh, browse this extent report through chrome we will get very nice report here uh, but it will take some time to download this report Though it is a local to me, still it takes some time. So we'll wait for that. Yeah. So this is your report. When you click on this a spiral kind of button, so when you click on that, what happens is uh, you'll get very details report. Still it is downloading, so it will take some time. Uh, you'll have each and every information of your execution. So your script, let's say if your script got executed seven times. It will give you the report seven times because in after method and before method we have written that extent report so it will get triggered now i don't know why it is taking so long time maybe uh, connectivity will be slow 
need to wait for that usually it, it will not take this much time it goes very fast in fact if you look at in the eclipse it got downloaded very fast here so at least we can see it here so this many times the script got executed now when you click on this it will tell you total 7 test steps 14 100% pass percentage right uh, it will also tell you your informations your OS informations everything uh, it will tell you and when you click on this options here you can filter out pass fail skip right so based on your requirement it will filter out and whenever any failure happens it will tell you the failure region also right now uh, this guy is still downloading it's okay we are not bothered for that i just wanted to show you the extent report now let's say somebody would like to design some other script and i will do that one dummy script i will make here so i will write here let's say test data driven a script a script let's say i'll make it as a one because we have already designed one script now here i will do a bit more compared to what we have done in the previous script so in this script uh, what i did i had very less data right now i am going to use the more data which we have in the registration page so i will copy paste here and uh, we need to follow the same strategy we need to extend to the test base why we need to extend because the test base uh, we will have that get data method after that if we go to our excel sheet now it has more records so when you extend this and when we open that test data so now registration sheet this sheet will have one two three four five six columns basically so we need to copy this name we'll come back to the clips and we will just supply this name that's it we don't have to do anything and since it has a six so what i will do i will write here variable one in your case it will be actual data variable two so that you know why i'm using six because you will have a, a complete understanding of once you have more than one variable how you can achieve that so two three four and then five and this cut from here we'll place it here six okay so now we have six variables so we have to use six print statements so we will write here two and this column guys need you need to make sure that whatever column you have in the excel it should match if you will not match by chance your script will not work you will get a exception saying that data provider argument mismatch three then we'll change to four we'll change to four uh, we'll change to five and we will change to six now let me just run this script run as test ng yeah so it went fine okay in fact in our uh, console we can see that this report for three records your script got executed three times now if you refresh your project you will get very nice report here right this got executed 351 so another html will get generated and uh, we can open here we can see that three tests got executed right apart from that if you go to test output report this guy will also give you very good information so if you do open with web browser that email report.html here also will get very good, uh, good report saying that with this parameter 
okay with this parameter this just got executed and this uh, test output folder is generated by test ng by default right which will tell you the informations about your you know test script so one you can see extent report which is very good uh, which is very uh, you know uh, it looks very interactive you can send to the management but this guy also the test ng also will generate report on behalf of you so now we are 99 percent ready with the framework we have everything now in our framework we have data provider we have reporting we have test base we have a screen capture everything we have we have wait conditions now we need to start with the selenium script and one thing which is missing here is we need to add log4j login as well as even i will add event listener class which will listen your event and whatever actions you'll perform it will print in your email report dot html so thank you guys thank you for watching this hope you like this video and uh, if you like this video like my uh, video and subscribe my youtube channel and this code will be present in my github location so you guys can take the code from my github location so i think i have already pushed the code here remaining code will be available here itself right so this url learned by bhanu pratap slash selenium hybrid framework so here uh, you can uh, get my code which i am continuously keep on writing the code and publishing the video so you guys can get it from here right so code is available here you guys can clone the project and you, you guys can enjoy selenium framework so thank you guys thank you for watching this hope you like this video like me but i mean video and subscribe my channel thank you once again